Hey everybody, Sean Adams here with Disinfect Water, and I came into the office just to do this video for you. Today I'm just going to kind of summarize everything we've been talking about for the last week so that you're crystal clear on what a CCR is, a consumer confidence report, your water, like your water treatment report, water quality report, all those names exist. Um, but just so you know, your municipality, whoever delivers your water to you, and that could be a public company, that could be a private company, it all depends on you and where you live. Um, but that company is required to send out a CCR every year letting you know the quality of the water. And in that I talked about how to read that and looking for the abbreviations and first of all knowing what kind of what surface water or groundwater or where they get their water from, understanding the abbreviations of the information they get, where that's what they all mean and then looking at the charts and seeing what the levels are of specific items in the water. Um, keep in mind just because there's some levels of something in the water does not mean that your water is unsafe. There are standards, as long as they're meeting those standards, your water is safe. I just want people to be educated and learn to read these and actually pay attention to them instead of just throwing them out and being like, what the heck is this? It's important. It's your quality. Everything that you're using water on a regular basis, even if you're like, well, I use filtered water to drink, you're still showering in this water. The water is coming in contact with you and the largest um, organ of the body is your skin. So water is coming in through your skin. Um, unless you have some really high-end filtration system on your shower, the water that's being supplied to you from the municipality or from the water treatment plant is going to be affecting you. So read the reports, understand what they mean, read the abbreviations, look at the charts, see where your numbers are. There's always a number to call to contact if there's an issue, or even if you just want further clarification. They, people who do this are extremely passionate about getting you good, safe, healthy water. This isn't just some kind of job you fall into. You want your water to be safe for your community. These people are passionate, they're from your community, they care about you, and they want to make your water safe. So know that they want to make sure that you feel good about it. So be aware of that. Um, also, the other thing that we talked about this week was a boil water alert. And that's the thing that freaks people out the most. Oh my god, something's wrong with my water. They call it ordered a boil water. Yes, something for the quick moment is wrong with your water. And like I said, more often than not, that's because of something that's beyond anyone's ability to control, like a broken water main. And it's a precautionary thing. If there's a broken water main, things could get into the water flow. Therefore, you don't know. They can't say it's going to be safe by the time it gets to your house because it's between the water treatment plant and where you live. Totally makes sense. It's totally a way of just being precautionary. So don't freak out about it. And just read your, your CCRs, your water quality reports, consumer confidence reports. Read boil order reports or boil, boil order alert, alerts if they come up. Read what they say. Do Follow the instructions. Look for when, they, when it's done and finished so that they'll announce that the boil order is finished. Uh, so they can go back to just living back to normal. Or follow, if they say, hey, for the next 20, 12 hours, do this, whatever it is. Just listen to it, follow it. One of the things that we're lucky about here in the United States is that we do have good, clean water coming to our houses that are have standards and that are followed. Across the world, this is absolutely not true. So I want you all to not take... Um, I don't want you to be complacent about this. I want you to be aware just how lucky we are that we have good, clean, safe water coming to our houses consistently. That is an exception to the rule, not the rule, when it comes to the global water crisis. So be appreciative of that. Be appreciative of the people who make sure that happens for you. And just be an educated consumer. That's all I want to ask for you guys. Once again, Sean Adams, Disinfect Water. If you go to the site, you can learn a lot more about what our product, DW Liquid RS, can do. Educate yourself a little bit more. And also, other places where our product can be beneficial. And if you happen to work in one of those areas, I would love to hear from you and have a conversation with you to see if maybe we can help you do what you do better. Because that's what we do here at Disinfect Water. Cheers.